Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome to Technology. So in the previous tutorial, we show all the order data over here in the admin panel. So in this tutorial, we are going to have a uh, one more extra column over here and we have a button over here and if the admin click on the button, click on that button, then the delivery status will change from processing to deliver. And if the delivery status is uh, delivered, then we will not have the button. We will just have a text over there that the product is delivered. Okay. So uh, first of all, let's go to our code and let's create a column over here. So we'll go to our code. We'll go to our uh, resource views and then inside admin folder, we have order.blade.php. So we'll directly go over here order.blade.php and we'll go down and here you can see we have the table header over here image. So let me just copy this table header and I'll paste it over here. Let's say this header name will be delivered. So right now if we save it, then if we now refresh here, here you can see we have one more extra column called deliver. So in this column, we have a few button like called deliver button and if the cash admin click on that deliver button, then the delivery status will change. So here, uh, this is the table header part and here this is the table data part and here you can see this TD is for the image. So after this TD, after this image here you can see image so after this image we are going to have a another td and inside that td we will have a button so inside this td we will mention a anchor tag and let's say uh, the button name will be delivered and uh, here uh, we will mention a bootstrap class for this anchor tag we say here btn 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 let's say primary uh, let's save it then let's refresh over here and here you can see we have a button over here called deliver. So what we want, if we click on this deliver button, we want to change this deliver status from processing to deliver and the rest of the thing will stay the same. So for it, uh, here you can see that uh, this is inside a for each loop, this button and we are able to show the specific uh, order customer name then, then the product title quantity. So we should able to get the uh, put a ID in this href. So here, uh, first of all, let's mention a URL inside this href. We we'll say over here URL to first bracket, then to single quotation, and inside it, let's say here the URL name will be uh, deliver, and then we'll give a comma over here. Then we we'll say over here dollar order. Then this arrow sign we we'll say over here ID. Okay, like this, not equal, like this. We we'll say over here ID. So what will happen is that it will get the specific product ID from here. Uh, like over here, you can see that every uh, order has an ID over here. So admin click on this deliver button, then we'll get this specific order ID. So here, right now we'll go to our web.php and create this route. So let's go to our route, then web.php. And here, uh, let me just copy this. Control C, then we'll paste it over here. Control V. Then over here, uh, we are sending the ID from here. So we also need to catch the ID over here. So we'll give a slash over here. Then we'll give two second bracket. Then we are going to say over here ID. Then we'll use the admin controller and we also need to mention the function name over here. Let's say the function name will be uh, deliver. Okay, I forgot to give the URL name over here. Uh, let me check the URL name. URL name is delivered. So paste over here and the route will be get. This is the URL name deliver ID and we'll use the admin controller and the function name will be deliver. So right now we'll go to our admin controller and create this function called deliver. So let me just go to uh, app HTTP controller then admin controller and let me just go down and here I'm going to say public function delivered to first bracket and in this first bracket we are going to catch the id which you are sending from here then here we'll say uh, we'll declare a variable let's say over here dollar order equal to we'll mention the table name which is order double clone we'll say over here find to first bracket then we'll say dollar id so using this id we'll find the specific uh, order from here and then 
we will say over here dollar order this dollar order is this one then we'll give this arrow sign and then over here uh, if you go to the table here you can see that we write delivery status like this delivery underscore status so here we are going to say daily hurry underscore status equal to and inside this double quotation we are going to say daily bar then we are going to we'll say dollar order this arrow sign will say save and after saving the data we want to stay on the same page so we we'll say over here return redirect to first bracket this arrow sign will say here back so let me just explain it uh what will happen is that when someone click on this deliver button then it will get the specific id and it will get it means it will get the specific order from here then uh, it will come over here from uh, from this route to this admin controller uh, it will find the specific order then it will change that specific order delivery status to delivered and then save the data and return the direct back okay so right now let's just refresh here so right now here you can see for this first one here you can see that for this chart the delivery status is processing so right now if i click on this deliver option here you can see it reloaded and the delivery status changed from processing to deliver so since this product is delivered so what should happen is that uh, when a product is delivered this button should disappear instead of this button i uh, will have a text called deliver only just only just a text will not have a button uh, so that uh, the admin can click the button since the product is already delivered so what we are going to do is uh, here we will go to our order.blade.php and here you can see that inside this td we write a anchor tag and we have the button called deliver over here so over here you can see that we are showing the delivery status over here deliver deliver processing processing so uh, what we can do is that we can give a if condition over here we'll say over here at the end of if we'll give two first bracket then we'll give this dollar sign and here you can see in order to uh, show the delivery status we need to write dollar order delivery underscore status like this so over here we are going to say dollar order this arrow sign will say delivery underscore status will say equal equal will give two single quotation and we are going to say over here processing so uh, what we are doing is that we are checking if the delivery status is processing so uh, every if condition has the ending so we need to in this if condition we we'll show our here uh, after this anchor tag we are going to show our here at the end of in if so if the delivery status is processing then we will show this button and if the delivery status is not processing uh, it means it's deliver then we will show something else and uh, for it we need to say over here like this we can say over here else and or you can just say over here else or else if uh, if you want to give another condition uh, like this but for now let's just go with else we'll just say over here uh, let's say inside a p tag we'll just say here deliver so right now uh, what will happen let me just explain it again if the delivery status is processing then we will show this button we we'll show this button if the delivery status is processing but if the delivery status is delivered then we will show only this text so that is why we give this if condition uh, inside this td so let's save it and right now if we refresh here you can see that uh, the delivery status is delivered and that's why we have we are seeing a option called deliver over here so we cannot see uh, click over here so right now let's do one more thing and that is if we click on the deliver option uh, it will show us a message that are you sure the product is delivered because admin may accidentally click, click on this deliver button so for it uh, here uh, this is our anchor tag so here we are going to say on click uh, we will say return confirm uh, to first bracket to single quotation okay to first bracket and to single quotation and here we are going to say our you sure this product is delivered so save it and let's refresh again
and here if i click on this deliver option it is showing me a message that are you sure this product is delivered if i cancel it on change the delivery status but if i click ok it will change the delivery status here you can see so okay let's just do a thing is that uh, let's just uh, change the color for this text since this is delivered uh, so that admin can easily figure out which is delivered and which is not so since uh, this is the else condition if the product is delivered so let's just say our hair style and we are going to say our hair color let's say color will be green save then let's just refresh okay so this looks better and uh, right now we'll do one more thing and that is if the product is delivered it means we also receive the payment as well so uh, if the admin click on this deliver button then we'll also change the payment status from cash on delivery to paid so that is actually really simple just uh, we did before here you can see that we change the delivery status like this so in order to change the payment status we need to do the same we say over here dollar order this arrow sign then we will say here payment underscore status equal to it will be paid okay so let's save it control s and right now let's just refresh here and here you can see that uh, this delivery status is processing and if i now and here you can see the payment status is cash on delivery so if i click deliver now here you can see are you sure this product is delivered click ok and here you can see that the payment status changed to paid and product is delivered so yeah this is all and let me just delete this unnecessary data from the table i mean because here you can see payment status delivery status is delivered but the payment status is cash on delivery that's why i will delete it so we will delete uh, one two three four one two three and this one i think okay so let's delete it from here and okay done now let's refresh now this will make sense and here you can see in the downside here you can see there is a processing for delivery status and cash on delivery let me just click over here and there you go you can see that the product is delivered and the payment status is paid so yeah this is all about this tutorial and if you have any question or any confusion you can let me know in the comment section or you can connect with me uh, to my facebook, facebook account if you want i have given the link in the description if you face any problem you can message me there or you can also email me and i would actually really appreciate if you subscribe to my channel so thanks again for watching stay tuned and stay healthy